All right, what's going on guys, it's GSR here. So basically I wanted to talk to you guys today about why I think zoning is not necessarily a real play style and why I don't think it actually takes any skill. And I have a clip at the end of this video that's gonna prove my point even further because I barely tried against the guy and I still was whooping his ass. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and to people who think zoning takes skill, you can go fuck yourself because you're the problem with this game right now, all right? Um, so I'm not gonna pull any punches. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything that I say. And if you got a problem with what I have to say, you can come see me in the streets. It's just that simple. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, guys. So the reason why I think zoning is unrealistic is because um, back in the 3D era, it was more realistic because you could side dash and evade projectiles. But the player on the opposite side that was zoning you, they had creative ways of actually hitting you. If you look up Tom Brady versus Check when they were playing Mortal Kombat Daily Alliance, you'll see exactly what the fuck I am talking about, right? In 2D fighting games, you have no choice but to move backwards, move forwards, neutral crouch, jump, and it's completely bullshit. Okay, I don't give a fuck who you are. You can make all the damage controlling excuses you want, but zoning is not a real fucking playstyle. That's just how the fuck I feel about it. When has Mortal Kombat ever been a super zone heavy game? And in this game, they're pretty much promoting the bullshit, and it's it's it's, it's dumb as fuck. And that's how I personally feel about that situation. I remember when Injustice 2 came out, man, I was hyped up for that game because I thought that game was going to be just as good as Injustice 1 because Injustice 1 didn't really have crazy amounts of zoning. I think Zod was one of the heaviest zoners in the game, I think, followed up by like Lex Luthor, I think, but and, and the Joker. But other than that, I, don't, I can't remember who else was possibly a zoner, but it wasn't crazy amounts of characters in that game that was actually fucking zoning. And then when it came out with Injustice 2, I was hyped up and I was like, yeah, bro, I'm about to fucking play this shit. I'm about to play it like it's nobody's business. I can't wait. Because I enjoyed Injustice 1, right? I seen Darkseid, I lost my shit. I was like, yo, Darkseid, this big ass nigga about to slam niggas' heads in the cars. He about to have some of the most brutal attacks. I cannot fucking wait to smash fucking Superman's head into the fucking car, right? Check this shit out. This nigga has his hands behind his back, just like Zod did back in Injustice 1. And this nigga is zoning. You got a big ass nigga playing like a bitch. And he has a bitch ass playstyle. Come on, man. Come on, man. Well, you, you think people left Injustice 2 because of this, because of that, and then you have certain high-level players that be like, why do people why do people not play Injustice 2 anymore? You niggas know why. Stop being around the bush. You niggas know exactly why. Like, come on, bro. Like, like because that fucking zoning bullshit. Come on, man. And, that, and that's the reason why I said that it doesn't make sense why you gave uh, uh, um, people this defensive option to where they can actually roll forwards. And on top of that, all you have to do is make it into a mechanic like you did with uh, 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 Injustice 2 to where you can roll in on fucking zoners and create that mind game to where they're not able just to simply just abuse this bullshit all the fucking time. And this can help out characters like Jax. This can help out characters like uh, uh, Jackie Briggs, even though I fucking hate that bitch. And this can help out certain characters that are not necessarily zone heavy type of characters. This is how I would bounce out the defensive options, but not only the defensive options, the zoning in the game. And this will create a really good mind game because if I make the correct read, I can spin a defensive bar and you're gonna get your shit pushed back. It's just that simple. That's how you fix two major issues in this game. It's very simple shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's just it's just dumb as hell how they make this game. And like I said, when has Mortal Kombat ever been a super zone heavy game? I go here, I'll wait. I'll wait. I literally wait. Back when uh, uh, when I was playing Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and, and Mortal Kombat 1, 2, those games wasn't necessarily super zone heavy. They were enjoyable because you can actually fight somebody in that fucking game. Even Mortal Kombat 9 was a prime example of that. That game was amazing. That's one of my favorite MKs, followed up by Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Hell, even fucking Mortal Kombat Armageddon, Daily Alliance, Deception. Nigga, I can name all the Mortal Kombats that I played because I played every last NRS game they've had. Like, come on, bro. Like, stop being around the bush. And then you play this bullshit and it's unrealistic as shit, bro. You have no choice but to move forwards and shit and, and just keep getting hit with chip damage and shit. It's, it's bullshit. And then, you you know, you got people like 16-bit dick riding zoning because he, he's a fan of zoning because he be getting his ass whooped by players who know how to actually play the fucking game. And that's why he frowns upon uh, characters who, who, who have uh, really good pressure and shit like that, bro. All right, guys. So I may not be, you know the best player in the world or one of the best in the world but at the end of the day i don't really give a shit about that shit that's nothing but bragging rights and i'm not going to spend all my time playing a fucking video game when i got shit in my personal life i have to take care of but here's the thing right even though i have experience under my belt okay and i may not be the best player in the world i know bullshit when i see it and when i hear it. this shit right here is bullshit 
This is not a fighting game at this point. This is a fucking third-person shooter game, whether you want to believe it or not. I am bored at this point because I'm barely trying against the guy, and I'm bored. I'm super fucking bored. I'm just sitting here like, yo, this shit is annoying. Now, after this match, he did beat me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he ended up killing my character, right? So I skipped it to the part where I just decided to pick Johnny Cage, right? And I picked Johnny Cage's outtake variation, and I decided to actually try hard against him, right? And when I did that, let's just say the shit didn't go well. So I gave him a taste of his own fucking medicine just to show him how it actually feels to get zoned the fuck out, right? And it's completely brain dead, just like characters who have access to 50-50s in this game. So, like I said, man, I may not be the best player in the world, or I may not be one of the best players in the world, but I know bullshit when I see it and when I hear it. So, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I just wanted to talk about this real quick because I'm tired of people talking about zoning take skill when that's a complete bull face ass lie. I don't even train the zone. And I just, and I zoned him the fuck out. I literally zoned him the fuck out. You guys are going to see exactly what I'm talking about. But, like I said, I don't know how you guys personally feel about zoning, but I do believe if they take that wake-up mechanic where you can roll forwards and make it into, like, a standing-up mechanic like they did back in uh, Injustice 2, to where you can get in on zoners and shit, to where you can whiff-punish them and shit for doing what they just did, that would balance this out a lot more and make it a little bit more tolerable, right? It's still going to be annoying, but at least you will have a chance to actually get in on the opponent if they change the wake-up option like this, because this will not only balance out the wake-up options, but this will also balance out the zoning to a certain degree to where you have a chance of actually getting in on the opponent you understand what i'm saying and this is exactly what the fuck i would do my niggas so with that being said i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this uh fight or whatnot um you know it, it was just annoying as fuck and i think the pokes are still fucking annoying in this game how you can poke that many times and i think the jumping is still somewhat op in this game but it is what it is you know i said everything that i had to say back in the past but I just wanted to touch on this because, you know, people were out here lying and shit talking about, oh, you know, um, zoning takes skill, this, that, this. is like, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to show you guys how zoning doesn't take any skill. Because I don't train the zone. I actually fight your ass. You understand what I'm saying? I don't sit here and play this bitch-ass style or, or this bitch-made-ass style. I, I don't do that bullshit. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys exactly how zoning is brain dead. And I don't even train the zone. Just just watch just watch how hilarious this shit is, bro. Just, just watch this. This shit is funny. Johnny Cage wins. 